What's up everybody? Welcome to another vintage unboxing here in the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast YouTube channel. It's a lot. Okay. Today, in continuing kind of a series here with our Marvel TNA line that I've been slowly rebuilding, we got two goodies for us here. We got good old Slap Nuts, Double J, Jeff Jarrett, in a two-pack with the Alpha Male Monty Brown, and in honor of the suit that Zack Ryder, a.k.a. Matt Cardona, had the audacity to wear to work at Madison Square, <laughs> take a shot, Madison Square Garden this week, Father James Mitchell. All right, truth be told, I've had a very difficult time tracking this down. This is a double pack of Jeff Jarrett, Monty Brown, released in 2006. I had this originally, very cool, um, so funny how things changed. I mean, you know, this is 13 years ago already, but Exclusive CD-ROM, pay-per-view footage, wallpapers, and more. Wallpapers, well, at least when I was in college, were like kind of a big thing, you know, a you know, cool image that you have in the background of your desktop computer. That is definitely a thing of the past. I mean, I guess there's, you know, you use a photo on your uh, cell phone and stuff, but I don't think people really make them anymore like this, so uh, pretty cool. Not good, cool packaging. This is a final resolution two-pack. In the set, there's also AJ Styles and Samoa Joe from Sacrifice, Jeff Hardy and Abyss from Destination X. I'm looking for that too, pack <laughs> so if you have it, needs to be the corrected version where Abyss's shirt is closed. Just throwing that out there. If you got it, come knocking my way. Uh, which is cool. So these are depicting actual matches that happen. This is final resolution. Jeff Jarvis, Monty Brown for the NWA World Heavyweight Title, 116.05. So cool. So this is the real deal. As you can see on the back, there's the Alpha Male Money Brown. There's old Double J Jeff Jarrett. Pictures from the match. The rest of the series, pretty cool. And I'm assuming the match is on this CD-ROM that it comes with. Let's uh, find out. Oh man. Okay, so here it is. The CD-ROM, a final resolution, <laughs> final resolution Jeff Jarrett vs. Monty Brown, Install installation instructions for PC users, insert TNA CD-ROM into CD-ROM drive, E for Mac, blah, 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 yeah, I will not be doing, Windows 98, Windows Me, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows 2003 server, Okay, oh, contents, character bios, character entrance videos, photo gallery from the pay-per-view event, a highlight, video highlights from the pay-per-view event, interactive trivia game with photo gallery and wallpapers. So the match is even on here, it's just like a big CD-ROM that kind of celebrates the event and the match. On to the figures. Um, kind of interesting, this final res I thought that was like a sticker that maybe you would keep. Maybe it is. No, it's just a very, it's just a big view of It's cool, nice little touch. Ooh. Sigh of relief, we might have to speed up the video here a little bit. Look at those twist ties, good lord, okay. All right, here he is. The Alpha Male Money Brown. Uh, I always thought this was a very underrated figure. He had a couple releases, all the same body. Uh, there's one in uh, leopard tights. There's a variant in black bikers, which is very difficult to come by. At this time, I mean, Monty Brown's on fire. He's a very popular wrestler. Uh, I thought he had such a bright future. Um, unfortunately, he uh, he chose to retire, uh, I thought, rather quickly. Matt and I actually wrestled him our debut match in the WWE, uh, so I always have a soft spot for him in that regard, but uh, and he's a really nice guy. You know, it's a shame what could have been because at this point in like 04, 05, he's on fire in TNA. He, he seems like he's destined to be this really big star. Cool figure though. I always dig the articulation on these uh, Marvel Toy Biz TNA guys. I think that's why kind of a soft spot for him. I wanted some of them back. That red electrical tape looking good. Boots, pads, and of course the signature pounds on the back of the bikers there. Great figure. Glad to have him back in my collection. Monty's a good dude. All 
right, there he is, and let's get on to Slappy. First off, sweet accessory, that traditional 10 pounds of gold, NWA championship, I mean, that that's a great, I mean, this alone actually, I think, goes, not, not for a lot, but people, you know, belt seekers look for this on eBay and stuff, you know, you can sell this alone for 20 bucks. Great looking belt, classic belt, iconic belt, that's an awesome accessory. And let's get into these twist ties. Oh. Only one twist tie on Jeff. He's free. All right. Let him breathe. Uh, so I chose, there's several Jeff Jarrett uh, Impact TNA figures, whatever you want to call them. I chose this one because of the jacket. I think it's kind of like the complete package of Jeff. Bresky was like, he doesn't have the guitar. It's like, okay, I'll live, you know, no guitar. Um, Feels like he, oh, he does, yeah. okay. He's still got the action feature from series one, which the, the TNA guys kind of got away from towards the end there. Uh, but there he is, <laughs> I mean, it's funny uh, period in time, this hairstyle, but Jeff did have it, so it's accurate. I like that he has a signature duster that he would wear, um, silver and white. Looking sharp, the JJ knee pads and boots. And that's classic slap nuts right there. These knee pads don't move. They're kind of just resting uh, below his knee. It's very hard to slide, but I mean, at least the knee's still gonna bend and you can play with them and do it all the things you wanna do. Cool though. I definitely feel like uh, I made the right choice. I got the right, the right double J for my collection. This one is sweet. It's the real deal. All right, Whew. here it is. This is one of my favorite figures of all time, a James Mitchell TNA. I believe this is series eight, and this is the end. This is the end of the line for these figures, unfortunately. And believe it or not, he is the only manager, or kind of the, everyone else in the entire line is a wrestler on the roster. He's the only uh, extra kind of character. Um, obviously, I really love this dude from his days in ACW as the Sinister Minister. Um, and I thought when this came out, it was like a perfect compliment because he was Abyss's manager. And uh, how could you have, you know, Abyss running rampant in your TNA fig fed without Father James Mitchell. James Vandenberg. Uh, also, I mean, this packaging, I think this is some of these, I, I mean, I guess this is two issue. I don't dig that all the other guys in the line are here because I'd rather just be the guy that's depicted on the actual box be the focal point. I mean, he gets his time to shine here, but I feel like without this, other than that, I mean, this is one of the, my favorite packagings of all time, and it's cool, this 3D bubble and the way it comes across, I mean, it's just really cool. Looks great to the eye. Uh, let's give, but that being said, let's destroy it. <sighs> He came with a Sinister Minister tattoo. I don't think I'll be uh, putting that to use at any time. Nice gesture by Marvel Toys. No thank you. Um, this is cool. The part of the packaging is that giant TNA logo. It comes out and it is a logo sticker. Remove adhesive back. I'll probably hang on to this and put it in Bobby Roode's bag or something. I don't know. Here's the cane. You know, Kurt Hawkins likes a, a good cane. Perfect accessory, about all he would need. Got some really stiff, stiff twist ties here. We might have to uh, take a little commercial break. And he is free. Awesome figure, not much to it. I mean, perfect hand right there, just the hole. Holds the cane, end of story there. But that's all you really need of this guy. You know, I don't, I don't mind that he doesn't have all the articulation in the world. I mean, not even a, a knee bend, but it's Father James Mitchell. You know, he's just hanging out there, doing his thing. He's managing, being a creep, cutting cool promos. So it's perfect. You know, the likeness, 
the expression on his face, spot on. Um, this is just a perfect, perfect compliment to a uh, Abyss action figure that I'm still in the hunt for. Great. I also dig that it's his only action figure ever. So this is, you know, if you're a Sinister Minister fan, James Vandenberg, Father James Mitchell, this is, this is it, so. <sighs> Pretty happy with these purchases. Until next time, we'll see ya.